Good afternoon, everyone. Chris McKee here at Classic Cars of Palm Beach. Uh, we're going to be doing a walk around video on this uh, SLK Mercedes 2013 right here. We do these video walk arounds for out of state, out of town customers or anyone who's not going to see the vehicle uh, until it's shipped to them on a, a transport truck. Um, we'd like to make sure that you know everything about the car as far as flaws are concerned. Uh, Nick scratches, dings, any dents, uh, curb rash on the wheel, uh, any excess wear and tear on the interior. So we like to tell you about everything. We don't like surprises, and I know you don't like customers don't like surprises either. And uh, we're just real transparent. We like everybody to know everything about the car. So here we go. We're going to walk around this thing and make sure you know everything about it. All right, good and bad. Uh, all right, so the front end of the car here, we're looking for, you know, I usually look around here for stone chips. Uh, you know, for highway driving, you know, a lot of times these people get stone stone chips on the car. These little spots here are just for a front license plate. Okay. Everything looks real good. Hood is super clean. I don't see any damage on it at all. Any nicks or scratches or anything. So, well taken care of there. Okay, coming around the side here, we're looking for curb rash on the wheels. All right, don't see any curb rash on this wheel. This is the passenger side front wheel. All right, the rest of the paint, I mean, this body, 2013, it's really glassy. You know, the, the paint's nice. All right, I don't see any issues here. Going down the passenger side, no issues. Okay, come around here. This wheel's got a little bit of nicking on it. I think a lot of that's, oh yeah, a lot of that's dirt too, but a couple of little scratches right on the outer edge here, you see, which a little touch-up will take care of that very simply. Okay, coming around the outside here, the back is in perfect condition. I don't see no damage or scratches or anything. So the paint on the body so far has been perfect, going all the way around it. Okay, here's the uh, rear wheel, driver's side. Looks good, one little nick right there on the top. Like I said, a little touch up will take care of that easily. Coming down the side. I don't see any damages here. Okay, front wheel, driver's side, looks good. All right, let's go to the inside. On the inside, so what we're looking for on the inside mainly is just excess wear and tear. You know, cracked up leather, uh, anything that has extra wear and tear on it, we're gonna tell you about. The door panels you can see here is really perfect. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you get ex excess wear and tear there on the top of it somebody's arm resting on there or on the armrest so it looks good this is where most of your damage usually is on the bolster getting in on the driver's seat you know where it gets cracked up and worn up and uh this perfect condition really in nice shape so i see no damages on the seats at all uh, the dash is great you don't see any no cracks in the dash all right your steering wheel a lot of times you have excess wear and tear on the outer edges or on the edges of the steering wheel or the center console there, nothing. So it's a great example of a nice clean car. I did just notice one thing though, somehow the dash cover or the uh, glove box cover is missing. So that would, you'd have to take care of that, order one of those dashboard, or I mean glove box cover. So I think it would be actually, cause this glove box normally would be the same color as the seats, the dash. So anyway, that looks like the only thing missing. Car's in great shape. If I didn't cover something you'd like to know about, just let us know. We'll be happy to get you the info. Thanks a lot for watching.